What are your thoughts on Joe Biden? Did you expect him to run? And I mean, he's obviously running now, but what are your thoughts on how uh, how he's done so far and how do you think he'll do in the, in the primary? Yeah, you know, I did expect him to run, although he was waiting so long that I kind of had like this still hope inside of me that thinking maybe he won't run, but he's running. And the way that I view Joe Biden is he's kind of like the Hillary Clinton of 2020, where he's painfully out of touch. He doesn't actually talk to ordinary people. He just is talking to the elites. I mean, on his very first day, he held a fundraiser with a Comcast lobbyist. So that tells you pretty much everything you need to know about him in terms of how he'll do during the primary I mean, you can't deny that he's polling extremely well. He's surpassing Bernie in most polls, from what Mm -hmm. I understand. Although I'm fully expecting him to face plan. And this is because everything he says, he manages to piss off somebody. Like, he (laughs) is so tone deaf, so out of touch, and I just can't see him sustaining this momentum. I kind Mm -hmm. of... I'm thinking, and this is just speculation, that he'll kind of have the same problem that Hillary has when the more you hear from him, the less you like him. Um, And that's just my thoughts. Maybe it's me projecting because I personally can't stand Joe Biden. But the way that I kind of have been looking at this is people view Joe Biden nostalgically. Like, everyone loves Obama, and they view the Obama days as giving Americans a lot of stability. There was not really any change, and To me, I view that as a bad thing, but a lot of people liked that there wasn't like a nonstop scandal every single day and just blatant stupidity like we see with Donald Trump. So I think a lot of people long for those days, but when they hear him speak, I think they're probably going to realize, yeah, we only like Joe Biden because we associated him with Obama, but he's nothing like Obama. There's no charm. There's no charisma. There's just an old, old, out of touch dude who doesn't really know what normal Americans are uh, dealing with. So I suspect Mm -hmm. he will face plant, but anything is possible, you know, in modern American politics, because I mean, Trump is president, so I'm not going to discount him, but um, I think he probably won't have any message that resonates. Yeah, so uh, I definitely agree with most of your analysis. I do have a small worry, though, just just based on name recognition alone that it's going to carry him far, the way that it carried Hillary Clinton far. So at the time, Mm -hmm. I mean, when Hillary was going up against Bernie, Bernie didn't have much name recognition at all. But now that um, Bernie does have that name recognition, I I at least think there is a good chance that Bernie will win this primary because of that. But he still has this candidate beside him uh, in Biden where you have, I mean, just decades long uh, experience in politics, just to being in the public eye in general, do you do you worry at all that that name recognition is going to carry him farther than maybe he deserves to be? Absolutely, because name recognition can do wonders for a candidate's career. I mean, Donald Trump, the name recognition, I mean, we saw how powerful that was when he trumped, for lack of a better word, you know, the entire field, you know, 16 candidates. Joe yeah. Biden could have the same effect. Um, it's kind of why I think we saw Bernie Sanders get a boost towards the end of the primary, especially because Mm -hmm. everyone just kind of defaulted to Hillary Clinton. But as they learned more about Bernie Sanders, they thought, oh, I actually like the message that he has. And one thing that I think Democratic Party voters do that Republicans don't is they try to think like two or three steps ahead. So they wouldn't necessarily support Joe Biden because politically he's closer to them or ideologically rather he's closer to them. I think they would consider supporting him because They view him as the best bet against Donald Trump. And currently, when you look at head to head matchups, he's doing better than Bernie. I think that's probably going to change. But I mean, this is one of the reasons why they supported Hillary. They just thought, well, you know, we can't have a socialist go up against Donald Trump or a Republican. Otherwise, we will lose. So they don't think, oh, well, this person is actually better ideologically. They just think, well, this person can beat that individual. And I'm kind of getting that sense based on just people who I know on Facebook, like friends and family. And it's a little bit soul crushing because people need to just vote who's better based on policy. And they're also not thinking about who can actually energize the base, which is something everyone misses in D.C. Um, And apparently a lot of people, you know, just normal, the normies, uh, they miss (laughs) that, too. So, yeah. I do worry. I I wouldn't discount him. I'm not betting on him face planning, even though I think it's highly likely. But, you know, you can't dismiss Joe Biden. He could win. Mm. 